Hi, my name is Dr. Gary Adams, and I'm a dentist at Natural Dentist Associates in Rockville, Maryland. And earlier I was answering the question about what causes TMJ and what is TMJ. And I basically stated that TMJ is caused by activation of the nighttime quenching reflex due to the tongue and other soft tissues falling back into the airway. And basically how that activates the quenching reflex, which is a defense mechanism to protect the airway and nighttime breathing. So getting into this a little bit further, the next big question would be what causes the tongue and other soft tissue to fall back into the throat and the airway and block breathing? And that is a more complicated question. Basically what happens is in many individuals, their mouths and their nasal passageways are very small. And when these spaces are small, the mouth and the nasal passageways and the throat basically comprise the airway. And if they are small, then there's no surprise that it can be easy for these uh, areas to collapse and have issues with nighttime breathing. But specifically in the case of TMJ and nighttime breathing, I think the real problem is the size of the jaws and the size of the mouth itself. And what you'll see is people who, when they were children, did not grow to be large enough. And uh, you'll see things like tooth crowding. If you look in the mouth, you will see how the, there's not enough room for the teeth to fit. There's certainly not enough room for the tongue to fit in between the teeth. This is a really big issue. All you have to do is look in the mouth and see if it appears that the tongue can fit in between the teeth. And if it can't, the tongue is a very powerful muscle. And what will occur is when we get into deep sleep and all our muscles relax, the tongue being a very powerful muscle will fall back into the throat and the airway and block the airway and stimulate the clenching reflex. And this can occur hundreds or thousands of times a night. And it's no surprise that we will see all kinds of disturbances for uh, people who have this problem. We'll see people not sleeping well. You know, certainly if, they, if, if the second they get into deep sleep, they clench and wake themselves up to clear their airway of the tongue. And um, this cycles over and over and over again throughout the night. People are not going to state that they feel like they got a very good night's sleep. The second issue we'll see is we'll see tons of complaints about TMJ pain. And TMJ pain can be anything from like a nagging, annoying tension to outright debilitating pain where someone is out on disability. We can hear complaints of jaw pain, tooth pain and sensitivity. We see wear and tear on the teeth. We see people that have cracked teeth and had root canals and crowns from this constant pressure placed upon the teeth at nighttime. If the jaw is overactivated, its muscles are overactivated, it will create lots of tension in the neck and shoulders and back. Uh, it'll create sometimes migraine headaches, general body tension, I, I, ear symptoms of fullness and ringing. I've, I've really heard it all. And it seems like every month or two I hear about a new complaint, but we can generally categorize all these complaints and some people get one or two of these symptoms. Some people get all the above and some people just don't sleep too well. It just depends on the person, but it really is all the same problem. So the TMJ problems are a real issue. We can see major problems with this condition with orthodontic positions of teeth. And what I mean by that is teeth that are too crowded, if, if mouths are small, there's not gonna be enough room for these teeth to fit. When people are clenching and grinding, the teeth are you know, 
get or can be getting pushed around the mouth and they're not maintaining a stable position so we'll see teeth that move up and about and around the mouth and they're not at all in a stable position due to the, to the constant forces placed upon them we will also see postural problems when the tension is great in the jaw area it will draw the head forward and we can see people changing their overall posture and maintaining a forward head position and these people will have shoulder pain and neck pain, back pain, sometimes tingling in the extremities. There's all kinds of issues that, that we can see. So there you have it. Uh, this really goes over what causes TMJ and some of the common symptoms that we see in people who suffer from TMJ. The other thing that I'll state too is that the symptoms that somebody has when they have TMJ is really variable from one person to the next, as I, as I said before. Um, some people will just complain about the sleep. You know, in fact, you may have no complaints at all. 80% of people who clench their teeth at nighttime do not know that they clench their teeth. This is a well-documented fact. Um, also, if you really want to get technical, I don't even know that TMJ really should even be a diagnosis because this clearly is a whole body problem where it involves breathing, sleeping, um, neuromuscular dysfunction. Um, it's really a problem that really starts with uh, a, an upper airway restriction syndrome and um, a sleeping disorder. And I believe that TMJ really more or less is a symptom of a sleep disorder caused by an airway not being maintained well enough for proper, easy nighttime breathing. And when you have tongues and other soft tissues falling back into the airway, what else is the body going to do to try to protect itself? And the clenching is really about all it can do to wake you up. So there you have it. Is there, I, I also oftentimes get asked the question, is there a link between TMJ and sleep apnea? Sleep apnea, it, it, obstructive sleep apnea at least, is a sleeping disorder caused by an airway not staying open. There most definitely is a link between sleep apnea and TMJ. In fact, 75% of people who have T, who have sleep apnea report TMJ symptoms. So there you have it. My name is Dr. Gary Adams. And again, I'm a dentist at Natural Dentist Associates in Rockville, Maryland. I'll be happy to see you anytime. Um, we maintain a TMJ sleep dentistry clinic in Rockville, North Bethesda, Maryland whatever you want to call it. We have a special program where we have a physical therapist. We assess sleep, we do sleep tests and uh, they're read by a sleep doctor. And we have treatments that will essentially open the mouth and airway, creating more room for the tongue and to balance the bite. So feel free to give us a call anytime. Our office phone number, if you'd like to schedule a consultation is 301. 770-2270. Thanks and have a good day.